is Saturday, December 9th, and it's time to start a new high school hockey season. It's Hopkinton Hillers Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi, Mike Tarosian on camera to bring you the first game of the 2017-2018 regular season. Last year, Hopkinton had a great year. They went 17-2 and one overall and they followed with a loss in the quarterfinals in the postseason, four to three in double overtime to Old Rochester. Westwood, they also made the postseason last year. They went 15-4 and one, and they lost in the semifinals, five to one versus Situate. And both of these teams were turning a lot of great players from their playoff teams last season. Eric, glad you could be with us today. Welcome to the HCAM hockey team. And I think uh, we're gonna have a great matchup on our hands today. We sure are, thanks for having me. Uh, it'll be a pleasure to be doing this this year. And uh, two great teams out there. And as legendary coach Bob Johnson would say, it's a great day for hockey. It certainly is. And it's maybe snowing outside, but still a good amount of fans have showed up to this game today. We're gonna send it now down to the ice as we get ready for faceoff. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your chats in the sitting of the National Anthem. It is a new venue for the Hopkinton Hillers. We're at the New England Sports Center here in Marlboro. Of course, the last few years they've been playing at Navin Arena, but now they are at the New England Sports Center. And Eric, I got to say, I like this venue. It is. It's quite the complex they have over here. And the best part is uh, great for viewing and filming the game without the nets in front of us. Absolutely. Of course, uh, we're a little bit in the danger zone, but it certainly makes for better television. And I did not like that net, so I'm pretty glad that we don't have to deal with that anymore. Well, we got two, I think, what are going to be very good teams this year. A lot of returning players on both sides. And both teams had a lot of success last season and a pretty good playoff run. What are you expecting out of these two this year? Uh, I think real good. I mean, you know, with Westwood, uh, they are the New England Patriots of high school hockey. Made the playoffs for 35 straight years, which is a state record. So you know they're going to be there. And Hopkins has got a lot of good returning plays as well. They certainly do. And we are underway. And the Hillers threatening early. A glove save there off the wrister by Simos. And the goaltender, Tim Dalton, being put to work early. Excuse me, their goaltender is Justin Anderson being put to work early for Westwood. As Zaporosius puts it around the net, now out in front. Another shot there deflected by the goaltender Anderson. Hillers aggressive early on. Along the near side, Zaporosius with two Wolverines there, now getting a hold of his Calgorino. Taken back by Simos. Puck in the neutral zone. Here come the Hillers once again in the slot. And that nice shot, shot by, by Delaney. Yeah, nice shot by Delaney, turned away by Anderson. A good quick start there. The Hillers came out flying, bringing the pressure down early. It certainly is, and I think they know they have to put pressure on this team if they want a chance. Your starters for the Hillers, Drew Saporosius, Cal Jarrett. 
Steve Simos, DJ Sloan, Owen Delaney, and the goaltender Dylan O'Leary for the Hopkinton Hillers. As the Wolverines trying to get something going offensively. It's been all Hillers, already three shots on net early on in this first period. And we're still under a minute into it. Along the near side is Colin Fahey into the neutral zone now. Turned away by Sloan. Here come the Hillers up the near side. Hunter Temple puts it around the net. Wolverines get it back. Out in front, that's Tommy Hamblett. Now behind the net, Mark Horsfall for Westwood. Hamblett gets a hold of it. Hamblett, pass to Lindquist, top of the circle, looking for the shot there. Bloomquist for Westwood, and Wolverines now take it into the neutral zone. Coming down the ice, Matt good Hetnick. Pressure. Good help out there by Lindquist. Very good job, and Lindquist on a break here. Leaves it in the high slot, the shot deflected. It was DJ Sloan on that shot. Here comes Westwood, an opportunity here. Brendan Hamilton a race into the puck. Dylan O'Leary comes way out and deflects that one away. Killers have it back. Good action here. Little changes here too. Matt Lindquist, they've dropped him back to D this year to help out. They're a little thin on D, and he's made a good transition for what I saw in a couple of the scrimmages. And the roster, I think, uh, significantly shorter this year than it was last year. As the backhander by Rogers turned away. Shot from the circle by Walsh, no good, and that one is wrapped up by the goaltender, Justin Anderson. Well, Anderson being uh, kept busy pretty early yeah, on Yeah, he's here. gonna be tired out at this pace. So the Hillers are really keeping the puck in well. They're looking for each other in front, and they're getting some good opportunities. So they just keep getting shots on net. They're gonna get one in eventually. If not the first, they're gonna have the rebound. It's already four shots on net for the Hillers. There's another one, and that is wrapped up by Anderson. A one-timer there by Delaney. off once again in the Westwood zone. In the circle, it's Griffin Zach. Coming out now, Rogers around the net. Trying to leave it out in front. Here comes Zach on the near side. He leaves it behind. Now towards the blue line, back into the neutral zone it goes. On the chase down for Westwood is Brian Reisfelder. Good physical play along the near side boards. In the circle is Donahue. Looking for the shot there, wide to the left. Back around the net, it's sent by Horsefall. Westwood trying to get something going here. Now to the blue line of Shields, good looking block. for the shot nice there. Block. Yeah, that was a very good block. Kyle Rogers getting in front of that one. Well, here comes Westwood. They're starting to be a little bit more aggressive. Trying to keep the Hillers out of their zone and take some of the pressure off their goaltender. Shields, pass up the near side board to Hall. Hall takes a nice hit into the boards by Sean Walsh. Hillers take it back into the neutral zone. That one's sent out of play. Right now the Hillers are just playing smart hockey. Well, they're not uh, taking any chances. We're waiting for their opportunities to get it in. Both defensemen have been back on all the, the few rushes that Westwood has had, and they haven't really had any good scoring opportunities at all. We are just underway in this one, 11.32 left. In the first period, a scoreless game between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Westwood Wolverines. Nice by Abbott off the boards. And the backhander by Guarino for Westwood. Now in the neutral zone, it's Delaney. Up the boards it goes. On the chase down is Blomquist. Up to the near side, Simos with some contact along the boards. And what a matchup to start up off the season for these two teams. A tough one right off the bat. Yep. Hard hit into the boards by Simos. Couple Wolverines there, but he's able to leave it behind for Sheamus, who got the shot off. And was turned away by Anderson. Out in front, there to pick it up in the slot is Bloomquist. Now along the near side, it's Sheamus. Pass up to Simos. Puck along the left circle, Will Abbott. Now towards the blue line, quick break by Hetnick. Here he comes into the Hiller zone. That's a good cover, good switch on the D there to pick up. That one turned away by O'Leary. I think Hetnick was trying to get some air under that one, but could not get the lift on it. Lindquist pass up the far side chip. boards. Rister by Abbott, and that one's wrapped up. 
Well, the one thing the Hillers have been blessed with over the past several years is speed. They've got some real good speed and skilled players, and it makes a real difference, especially on that forecheck. They're able to get right on the Westwood players, make them make a mistake, and they've been able to keep it in several times. And I think that was a huge part of their strength last season was the speed they had. And, of course, the great goaltender play. There's a shot from the high slot, and it was wrapped up by Anderson. And Matt Mackin got a... Uh, Stick on that one, nearly put it in his own net. The initial shot by Saporoshitz. And Hiller is going to switch things up on the ice. Coming into the game, Hunter Temple, DJ Sloan. And also, I believe, over there in the corner, that's Ronnie, Sh or that's uh, Tommy Hamblin. Back into the game for Hopkinton. Puck back into the neutral zone, handled by Delaney. At the boards it goes. Good Tim forecheck, De nice forecheck by Hamlet. A good shot there, wrapped up once again by Anderson. That was Hunter Temple getting the shot off. And notice the Hillers are definitely following what the coaches teach. They're uh, backing each other up. There's always a second player behind that forechecker, and Westwood's trying to chip it off the boards, but there's a second Hopkins uh, player right there to pick it up. Well, unofficially, I got seven shots on net for the Hillers, only one for Westwood, so I think we know who's winning the possession battle. And I don't think that one was even a threat. Right. Down the near side, Fahey, Westwood on a break now, looking for an opportunity here from the left oh, nice circle. Save Larissa, by great save. Hetnick on the shot. Dylan's just a solid, solid goaltender. He plays the angles really well, so if he's got a wide open view, he's going to pretty much stop it every single time. Absolutely. Second shot of the day for Westwood on that. 9.30 left to go. We are still scoreless. But the Hillers have been threatening all period long to start things off. Along the near side, a couple of Hillers and Wolverines getting tied up with each other. Griffin Zach trying to get a stick on it. And here comes Hopkinton as Lindquist able to get pass. possession. Great pass across ice to Walsh. Walsh looking for the shot, and that is off the side of the net, still in play. And it's turned away by the defenders. Sean Walsh gets a stick on it. It was turned away by Fahey. And this Wolverines. Nips off the moorings. These Wolverines defenders being put to work early and often. They are again, just the Hill is playing real smart. They're just looking for the open man, getting the puck over there, and then going to the open space to get the return pass. And they do that, this puck's going to be going in shortly. Absolutely. I have to say, though, good goaltender play by Justin Anderson yeah, so solid. far. Yep. Another nice save through traffic. Yeah, a wrister from the top of the circle by Gilbert, and that one's wrapped up. We'll have another face-off in the Westwood zone. 8.57 left to go in this first period. Nine shots on net for the Hillers. Only two for Westwood. It's been all Hopkinton so far, but we are still scoreless. We have an official stoppage here. That's come off the morning twice now, see if they can get that post in there, staying a little bit better. Yeah. And I think it's a little uh, more warm in here than it was at uh, Navin, which is nice. That one's wrapped up by Anderson. That was Simos on the shot. Watch for the little draw. Look for Abbott sneaking in behind. Simos turned away, and Anderson had to glove that one. Nearly lost it in the air. That one was just kind They're of popped close. up. Getting uh, close. The play's going to work eventually. They've come close twice on it. Look to set him up, cutting right through the faceoff circle for a good wrist shot. And the Hillers, it doesn't even seem like they're trying to pass. They're just shooting as much as they possibly can, trying to slip one in. That one turned away. That shot was by Zach. In the back of the net now, and that's picked up behind the net. And there's another shot, nearly goes through the pads of Anderson, but he's able to wrap it up. That was Owen Delaney trying to sneak it in. It is pretty amazing to me how much the Hillers are dominating right are. now. This They're is impressive. Well. They're doing extremely well on the face-offs. So, uh, face um, Owen Delaney's a real good face-off center, and he's won just about all of them so far. 13-2 shooting-wise. 
Marcourse ball. Gets the stick on it. Back to the neutral zone it goes. Picked up by Delaney. Let's put around the boards. Into the Hillers territory. Looking for a shot here. That's turned away. And that shot wide to the left. That attempt was by Connor Donahue. Pretty good save in the process by O'Leary. Picked up in the defensive zone by Connor Delaney. Steve Simos. The break. Yeah, there's Simos yep. trying to slip through the defenders. And we'll get the whistle there. The offsides call. And we'll have a face off. Clock is stopped at 8.04 left to go in this period. Quick moving action to start things off. We we'll certainly get a uh, different perspective, too, from the angle we're at here at the New England Sports Center. Get to see a lot more of the action, which I always like. Yep, you see right into the corners. That aggressive forecheck. Hopkinton's paying off. And now out into the slot. That's turned away by Hetnick. Hiller's keeping it in Westwood territory for the majority of this period so far. Up along the boards, that's Hunter Temple. And Cam Jarrett with a couple Wolverines. Back to the blue line of Lindquist. Oh, Lindquist. Looking for the shot. That one's turned away. And now along the near side, picked up oh, in nice the left pass. circle. Out into the slot. Almost. Reflected by the defender there. There's Matt Lindquist. What's the Temple going hard into the corner. Nice pass. And that one is going to... Float out back into the Hillers defensive zone. Just Good missed. turn away by Westwood. And these defenders, they must be getting tired at this point. Hopkins had putting the pressure on all period long. Sloan keeps it in the, the, the forwards are just zone. filling the slots. They're just waiting for that pass to come across and taking up the space. Top of the circle, that one turned away. That was Tommy Hamlet looking for the shot. It's wrapped up by Anderson. Westwood's having a real hard time with the breakout. Hopkins is just filling right down the middle with all three of those forwards. They're taking away all the passing lanes. I got him for 16 shots on that. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Seems like more. The ones that are far off, I'm not even counting. <laughs> I'm just talking about the ones that Anderson has to wrap up, really. I'm getting tired just watching them go up and down. Right. Now Westwood uh, trying to get some momentum going, but they are denied along the far side. It's Griffin Zach. Now up the near side board, Olsen. And that is shot from the high slot by Leone. And that's the well, third Westwood shot of the game. All day long. You know, as long as they're taking shots from out at that outside the hash marks. Defense just playing great, keeping most of the uh, action to the outside down on the hiller end. But when they do, the wide open shots that Dylan can see easily. In the Hillers defensive zone. Backhanded pass by Reisfelder. Picked up along the far side by Zach. Now back into the neutral Good speed zone by it Simos. goes. Just pure hustle there. Shields and Simos down the ice together. That and that's, one wrapped that's, up by Anderson. That's the difference speed makes. You know, it, most teams, the defense was going to get that and they're going to transition out. But with the speed of Simos there, he's able to keep that puck in, get an offensive faceoff. Owen Delaney in the faceoff with Donahue for Westwood. Reisfelder pass along the back of the net to Blomquist. Blomquist puts it up the near side. Nice keep in. Saperosius picks it up, pass to Zach. He was looking for the backhander to Delaney there, but he was off the mark. <laughs> to the near side, Saperosius. We'll have an icing here. 5.40 left to go in the first period. Still scoreless despite the fact that Hiller is out shooting Westwood 16-3. So far, it's been a good, fast hockey game. You know, none of the hooking or no minor penalty. So it's far, been a very teams clean are playing game. hard. Right. And New England Sports Center, the new home of the Hopkinton Hillers, also the home of Neshoba Regional, the Hudson Hawks, St. John's Pioneers. A lot of great hockey schools play here. Eight rinks under one roof. Gotta love it. A lot of hockey. Along the far side, that's Connor Delaney. Up to Saperoshitz. Good play. And here we go, fast break. Owen Delaney looking for the shot nice here, pass. pass to the slot. Oh. 
Wide to the right, still alive. And that was Delaney looking for Will Abbott there. And now Owen once again in the left circle. They've been working well all game with the passes. Here's, Here's Abbott another one. Out. Owen with the shot, trying to poke it through. It's deflected. And that whole play started on the hill. It was just a perfect breakout. Delaney saw the puck coming up the boards with the chip out, and he was right there to pick it up, and with the speed, just take it off in a perfect two-on-one, almost. Three more shots there for the Hillers. And that opportunity, that net came out once again. We have music more frequently here too, which is nice. Adding a little of the entertainment value. Taylor got the Bruins game. Absolutely. Nice move. Here's DJ Sloan. From the right circle, looking for the shot here, the wrister, and it's covered up by Anderson. Glove save. Good puck in on there. Left of Temple's gonna need some new wood. Oh yeah, broke that stick right in half. Clock stopped at 4.43. Oh, well, these days I should do composite. <laughs> On a face off for the Hillers, it's DJ Sloan. Back to the line, there's Lindquist. And Good Sloan. recovery by Lindquist there. Yep. And Hetnick was trying to run away with that one, but Lindquist stole it right back. Good pass into the nice slot, play. looking for the shot there, wide to the right by Hamlet. Sean Walsh with a good cover when Lindquist took the puck up. That's key for those forwards to recognize when the D are jumping in and go back and take their spot. Mr. Pass back to Lindquist. Looking for the deep shot there, wide to the right. Back to the neutral zone. And Quist will track it down. Taking it right back into Westwood territory up the near side. Backhanded pass. And he was hoping Sloan was going to get the shot off there. Hard contact along the boards between Guarino and Simos. In Westwood possession, up the boards by Horsefall. And now cross over to nice Reisfelder looking for the shot Take here. The in the left circle, around the net he goes. That's back to the blue line. And that shot turned away by O'Leary. He's trying to slip it nice in pass. along the corner there. Quick break for the Hillers, oh. Arister, and that is just a little bit Simos high by Simos. Simos like a shelf, just missed. Yep. But a beautiful pass from Sean Walsh from the point to send him away. And when Delaney around the net leaves it out in front. Donahue tracks it down for Westwood. Along the near side boards, there's Hall. He meets up with Owen Delaney. Zaporoshitz puts it around the boards. That's tracked down by Shields. Far side over to Hetnick. He puts it across to Fahey. Here come the Wolverines. Fahey doing battle with Saperoshitz. Saperoshitz gets the stick on it. It's picked up by Hetnick. Hetnick along the boards. Three hillers in the area. And it's turned away by Delaney. And now turned away once again. This Hill time by Abbott. Here. Yep. Romquist back ice. Around the end boards to Guarino. Back to the neutral zone, it's Hetnick. Hetnick with Abbott. Seamus with a good body check there, take his man off the puck. Approaching two minutes left, glove saved by O'Leary on the wrister. That one was by Kyle, or by uh, Ryan Lewis. That was one of the few clean breakouts of Westwood's head today. They had a nice cross pass, send the uh, wingman up the side there. It hasn't happened too much. Hill's forecheck has been relentless today. Rister by Mackin. Pass up the boards. Larry picks it up. Now to Gilbert. Westwood trying to get some momentum rolling in their favor. Creating a couple opportunities for themselves. Maybe another one here. Tracked down by Sheamus. Over on the far side, that's Walsh and Sheamus for the Hillers. And now they have the quick break. Here comes Walsh. Up the ice he goes. Able to sneak around. A little bit of a tug but it's there, but stolen away. 
Matt Mackin picks it up for Westwood. And now back ice Gilbert. I'll tell you, Walsh and Sheamus have looked uh, solid. Their first year in the varsity, yeah, they doing really well. That shot by Ricefeller almost hit the official. Up the near side, Lindquist. The play by Matt there. Chip out. That's a good stick work. One minute remaining in the first period. One minute left in this first period. And it was all Hillers early on, but Westwood starting to put a little pressure on now. It's picked up by Lindquist. Long and near side boards. It's one for one the shot here. Almost. And that was Hamblet looking for Sloan. We'll have a whistle. I tell you, it's about the third two on one that I've seen so far. The hill of speed is taking advantage of catching the Westwood defense. Yep. We we'll just have to uh, find the net. <laughs> 24 shots on net for the Hillers in this first period. They have certainly dominated. But out shooting a team doesn't mean nothing if you're not outscoring. Right, that's the ones sure. that go in that matter. Yeah, here's an opportunity for West. Nice well, that one turned away by O'Leary. And that was Hetnick on the shot there. That's sometimes a problem when you don't get a lot of shots. You finally do get them. O'Leary was ready for it. 15 seconds left. Coming up ice, Owen Delaney. Let's look. Over the Westwood defensive zone. Hillers looking for a last second shot here to close out the first period. From the high slot, that one is turned away. as Will Abbott on the shot. And that is how the first period will end. It is scoreless. The Hillers outshot Westwood big time, 24 to five. But it is a scoreless game as we head to the second period. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. It's Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Bar City Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy, Eric Party on the call, Mike Tarosian on camera. And we are ready for the second period. Eric, the Hillers dominated in that first period. At least in my opinion, they outshot Westwood 24 to five. Pretty impressive stuff so far. Yeah, I think the key here is just to uh, keep doing what they're doing. Don't, don't need to take any chances, just uh, keep playing hard. They're gonna get those chances. Well, we have switched ends and we are ready to go. And we start out in the Westwood defensive zone. That one chopped up in the air by Saperoshitz. Now out in front, no Hillers there. Reisfelder picks it up. And that's stolen away by Simos. Pass down the near side, contact along the boards, put back into Westwood territory by Delaney. Turned away by Anderson. Now to the neutral zone. That's picked up by Connor Delaney, and here comes Westwood. Turned away by Saperoshitz. And there's Guarino. Nice pass. Very Good nice look. pass. Yep, Will Abbott coming down, the wrister. Oh, nice That's save. turned away by Anderson. That was a big opportunity there. But even though the Hiller is out shooting Westwood, I mean, we're still scoreless here. This is still very much anyone's game, Eric. Yeah, their goaltender, Justin Annes, he's just playing real credible. He really is, he's having a great day. Certainly a lot of work for him, as that one turned away by Guarino. Here nice comes Westwood check. up the far side. It's Fahey. Now, Back and forth contact in the neutral zone. Guarino took a whack there by Simos. 
Along the far side, it's Sloan. Just that one up in the air, back towards the blue line it goes. Here comes the Hillers, quick break by DJ nice Sloan. Here he goes, looking for the shot here. And that is turned away by Anderson. And he was trying to go glove side on that one, but Anderson picked up on it. Another great save by the goaltender. And there's a wrister, and that Anderson's going to wrap that one up. Well, if a vote now, Anderson's number one star of the game so far. Especially if Westwood wins, there's no doubt about that. That was Tommy Hamblett on the last shot. And the Hillers are getting good shots off, but Anderson is just denying all their opportunities. Looks like the Westwood coaching staff might have told them to pick up the hitting a little bit. Looks like uh, Westwood's being a little more aggressive trying to slow the Hillers down. Right. Face off in the right circle. Here we go, Hillers looking for another shot. Here the backhander, just and that wide. was turned away. Just a little bit wide there by Walsh. And the Hillers taking control once again, and this is really how the first period started off as well. Coming up the near side is Shields for Westwood. That one chopped up in the air by Leone doing battle with Sheamus. In the Hillers territory now as O'Leary sets it up. Up the boards towards Walsh, now to the blue line. Back to the neutral zone. Here comes the Hillers once again, Griffin Zack. And he leaves it behind, the wrister there is denied. That was Kyle Rogers on the shot. I tell you, the Hillers shots too, they're getting quality shots. They're making some great moves, getting around the defenseman, getting a good look at the net. I got six to one in this uh, period for shots so far. Here's another one. That one was Will Abbott off the pad of Anderson. Along the end boards. Out in front is Reisfelder, back to the neutral zone. There's Connor Delaney. Picked up behind the net by Shields. Back to the neutral zone it goes. Donahue trying to chase it down for Westwood, but Hiller gets there first. That was Connor Delaney. Back in the Hopkinton territory, Saparoshitz. Up the far side boards, it's Abbott into the left circle, the backhander, and that is gonna be wide to the right. Trying to pick that top corner almost. Again, another great save by Anderson. Both teams gonna switch up the talent on the ice. Eight to one shooting wise in favor of the Hillers in this period. And they have dominated shooting wise, but have not been able to come up with any points. Sloan on the faceoff. Leaves it behind up the far side. That's Cam Jarrett along the boards. Behind the net it goes to the near side corner. Coming up ice is Hetnick. There's Sloan in the neutral zone. Some good stick work there as he Time tries to get, it in to deep now. get by a couple Wolverines. Morse ball with the back pass. Back and forth we go here. Both of these teams kind of feeling each other out the last couple of minutes. Westwood, they just have not been able to get the puck in the Hiller zone really at all in this period so far. It seems whenever Westwood gets into the Hopkinton zone, the Hillers take it right back. And one of their pre-game mantras was back check, back check, and the forwards have really been doing it. See him picking up when the defensemen do pinch, though. There's always a forward there to help him out and take their spot. And it's pretty evident that the Hillers certainly have more speed than this Westwood team. Coming down ice is Lindquist, and he leaves it out in front to Sloan, the wrister, and that is wide to the left. Delaney puts it back down behind the net. And picked up by Lindquist, top of the circle. He meets up with a number of Wolverines. Griffin Zach also there, and Zach able to get a stick on it. Kyle Rogers now in the area behind the net. Zach and Rogers over there in the far side corner. And it's picked up by Horsefall. Here comes the Wolverines. It's Mannequin coming up the near side. Back around the Hiller's net, that one goes. Still an O'Leary gets a stick. Up the near side, a hard hit there by Donahue into Zach. Now out in front, that's turned away by Anderson. 
Now back into the Hiller zone, Reisfelder looking for a shot here on the right circle. And he was not able to get that shot off. Nice job by Saporoshitz there, Eric. Save the possible goal there. In the far side corner, looking for the backhander, O'Leary along the corner of the net, turns away Sheamus. Here comes the Hillers on a possible quick break. Pass across over to Walsh. Walsh along the corner, puts it around the end board towards Owen Delaney. Delaney was trying to leave it behind and the wrister there is denied. That shot was by Simos. And now in the near side corner we go. 8.44 and ticking left in the second period. It has been dominated by the Hillers, but we are still scoreless. Despite Hopkinton having more than 30 shots on net, they have not been able to come up with a goal yet. Along the far side, that's put up the boards by Mackin. And is that a concern when you have 30 shots on net and you're unable to come up with a goal? I don't think so. I think they're just going to stay the course because eventually you get that many, that you, one's going to go in. They just have to not make sure they don't get frustrated. Well, they're certainly dominating a good Westwood team, that's for sure. We'll get the icing here. That's about the only thing that could take them off the game is just get a little frustration. Like I said, Westwood looks like they're starting to pick up the, the body checking. They don't want to get caught into that because they're dominating the game. They just want to keep making those great passes. They've had several two-on-ones. And eventually, the one of those is just going to get by the goaltender. Right. Yeah, I'd say Westwood's certainly being a little more aggressive than they were in that first period, that's for sure. But Hopkinton just still dominating them, mostly because of speed, I think. Speed and great position of play. Those are one thing that the coaches always harp on, and this team is really following that. Up the far side. Miller's trying to take back control, and that was. Cam Jarrett able to get it out over to Hamlet in the high slot now. Pass back to Jarrett. And Cam Jarrett, that's a new name on the, this year's roster. Along the near side towards Hetnick. Back to the neutral zone, turned away by Jarrett. Picked up behind the net by Horsefall for Westwood. 7.30 and ticking this period, moving along. Non-stop action here, and a very clean game so far by both of these teams. Up the near side is Sloan. Sloan on the right circle looking for the shot there, but Anderson was ready for it. Ninth shot of the period for the Hillers. Both of these teams made the playoffs last year. A lot of great returning players on both of these rosters. I think Westwood got a little bit younger than the Hillers did this season. I think they lost more seniors, although the Hillers did lose some very good players as well. They always play Hopkinton tough, even when Hopkinton had a great year last year, uh, they tied and beat Hopkinton in the two games. Right. And in the playoffs, Westwood plays in that South Division II bracket, Hillers in South Division III. As that one turned away by Connor Delaney, we'll get it back down into the Westwood defensive zone, picked up behind the net by Guarino. Along the far side boards at Saperoshitz. Here come the Wolverines. Trying to work it back towards the neutral zone. And that one taken by Delaney there. And another shot is going to be denied by Anderson. The way the Hillers have been dominating the faceoff, I think one of their goals is going to come shortly on the faceoff play. They've always had good set plays. They could just catch it right and get that shot from just inside the circle. A little bit of traffic. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like the Hiller is doing less passing than normal. And there we have a goal. Look at that. Arister by Delaney on the one-timer. And he puts that to the left of the goaltender. Into the net it goes. It's 1-0 Hillers. He's and we've been waiting for that. He's got a real good snapshot, too. A lot of speed on that shot. Good placement. 6.32 left in the second period. And Owen Delaney <laughs> taking advantage of the one-timer. And you got a beautiful lift on that one. And that went just past that left arm of Anderson. And finally, after all those shots, the Hillers come up with a goal. And now looking for another one here. Delaney out in front, and that one's turned away by Anderson. Simos was also in the area. And that's put to the near side by Lindquist. And down is Habit, and he's tripped up some hard contact there with Guarino. Out in front, wrister there by Abbott. 
That was Will Abbott getting the credit for the assist on the goal as well. Another opportunity here, out to the right circle. That one's turned away. Delaney was looking to turn that one around. Cal Guarino up the far side. And he wrists it off of O'Leary. Credit Westwood with another shot there despite the long distance on that one. And the attempt by Lewis turned away by the Hillers defender. That was Saparoshitz with a nice play out in front. On the near side, the Wolverines certainly starting to feel the pressure after the Hillers come up with their first goal of the game. They'll get the icing there. That could be the one. Sometimes it just takes that first goal. It starts to open the floodgates. Right? And that was just a perfect shot by Owen Delaney. Uh, watching him in practice over the years, he's just got a real good shot. He got that from his father. I played against his father in the men's league. But his father was also a professional, so. <laughs> Back towards the blue line. Hiller's territory. Wolverines trying to get something going, and they need to fast. They want any chance in this one. It's been all Hillers so far. Up the near side, good stick work by Hamlet. Here he comes. Right circle, wrists it, and that's a little bit high. That was nice working around the defender there. Now out in front, Hamlet did not get the stick on it before Anderson covers it up. It was a good pass by Gilbert. I don't know if the Hillers had a scouting report on Anderson to try to go high because it seems a lot of the shots tonight have been looking for that top corner. Right. I'm sure they did have a scouting report knowing uh, Coach McPherson. Sloan with, on the face-off there and Hillers dominating on the face-offs as you've mentioned a couple times. Along the near side, Hetnick. Here come the Wolverines, Hetnick. Top of the circle, no one out in the middle, and then finally someone gets out in front of the net. Dangerous situation here, turned away by Sloan. And we'll have the whistle. He's calling a penalty here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is gonna be against the Hillers. Hooking in front. That one is going to send Gilbert to the box. First penalty of the game by either team. 4.30 left in the second period. Andrew Gilbert will sit down for two minutes. Oh. And Westwood's on the power play. Got too many players out. Yeah, they're trying to sneak one past them. <laughs> I tell you, Hill is one of their best weapons through the years has been uh, playing shorthanded. They've had a lot of shorthanded goals through the years, and Abbott's had a lot of those. And, and last season, that was one of the strongest parts of their game was they were so good on the power play. Anderson sends that flying up the near side. Back to the neutral zone now. It's picked up by Reisfelder. On the net goes Connor Delaney. And two Wolverines there, turned away by Shields. Westwood looking to take advantage of this five on four situation. And Rister oh, nice there, turned save. away by the defender. And that was a very good save. Nice job by Simos out in front of the net. And then Simos and Shields getting a little pushy. Tough change of direction there. And O'Leary just stayed right with it, was able to snag it in the glove. Yeah, O'Leary's been uh, a little more busy in the second period. I think goaltenders like it when they get some shots, keeps them in the action, keeps them sharp. I got 12 to six for shots in this period, so Westwood closing in a little bit, putting a little more pressure on than they did in that first period. Up the near side, Simos. Edmonton County, number six, Andrew Gilbert. Mackin. That's Mackin up against Temple. Pass over the far side, a horse fall. Here comes Westwood, Donahue. And we're going to get the offsides there. Okay, watching Hunter Temple out there in the penalty kill. I've approached him in the JVs. Yeah, he's just a, a real rugged kid. He's not the biggest of kids, but he gives it everything he has when he's out there. He's not afraid to take the body. He'll go after some of the biggest kids out there, and he's always aggressive winning the, the battles. Hard hitter, too. To the near side. Blumquist for Westwood. On the net it goes. Hillers need to kill off another 50 seconds of this power play. Abbott risks down the ice. Picked up by Guarino. 
around to Blomquist. Blomquist back to Guarino. Guarino trying to figure out where to go with it. We'll go to Hetnik on the near side. Here come the Wolverines. It's picked up in the defensive zone by Lindquist. Let's play. And Lindquist turns it away and just that one off of the boards and then off of Guarino. We'll have the whistle. Really impressed with the play of Matt Lindquist for a forward coming back to play defense. He's done really well playing solid and I think he's got the green light to rush it when he can because he's got that speed in the moves of being a forward. He's made a couple nice rushes as well. 2.48 left to go in this second period. We'll have a face-off in the Westwood defensive zone. 16 seconds left on the power play. Here come the Wolverines. Tommy Hall up with Ricefelder. Hard hitting the boards from Connor Delaney on Ricefelder. Wolverines still have control. That one put around the end boards by Guarino. Picked up by Hall. Still with possession, puts it behind the net to Ricefelder. Westwood having trouble coming up with a shot here now. Sloan picks that one up for the Hillers. Sloan, that's down to Hamlet with an opportunity on the left circle. Good play. Leaves it behind, shot from the top of the circle. It's deflected by a defender, over the net it goes. That was Ronnie Sheamus on the attempt. Up the near side, Donahue. Backhanded pass by Hamlet. Hard hit into the boards there as Ricefelder gives a nice whack to Hamlet. Along the near side. And one picked up by Hamlet. Great stand by Hopkinton on this power play. Westwood really hasn't even been able to get a clean shot off. Hamlet along the boards, tied up with Blumquist. A minute and a half left, the power play has expired. Nice job by the Hillers. It's a 1-0 lead for Hopkinton. But here come the Wolverines right now. Fahey along the far side. The Hillers defenders having a very good game. Not allowing Westwood well, really any one. opportunities. Opportunity here, and that is tied up by Anderson. A two-on-one situation, but Anderson was ready for it. Another great save by the Westwood goaltender, Eric. I tell you, the Hillers are just playing smart hockey. A big part of the game is mental, and they're not making the mental mistakes. They're only taking what Westwood's giving them, not trying to force it, not giving them any odd man rushes. And Hopkins had, I think, half a dozen odd, uh, odd man rushes so far. And Matt Lindquist on that last shot. Now approaching a minute left in this period. One minute remaining. On the far period. side corner. Hillers having no trouble at all, really, keeping it in the Westwood defensive zone. Get the whistle there for the high stick. Face off will be in the Hillers defensive zone. We're gonna call it a deliberate offside. Donahue up against Sloan on the face off. Here come the Hillers on the attack. Lindquist. Pass to his left, the wrister there, and that's just wide to the right. Shot was by Simos. Wolverines now coming up the near side. Ricefelder on the left circle. He risks it. That one turned away by O'Leary. Good shot there by Ricefelder, but an even better save by O'Leary. Now the top of the circle, that's Guarino. Wide to the right, he goes. Donahue up behind the net. Couple shots on this drive here by Westwood. There's Guarino at the blue line. I'll pass back down to Donahue. Guarino, he risks that one and O'Leary has to glove save. That's a big save in traffic. Looks like O'Leary saw that even though he had a couple of defenders in front of him. So that one was just a little more to his right. He might have had that goal. But a great save by O'Leary who's been uh, put to work in these last couple of minutes. Earning his paycheck. <laughs> And he's been a solid goalie through his entire career. I've watched him play a lot. And last season, he had a great goaltender situation. Of course, O'Leary was a huge part of that. You had three guys that could really step in and give you uh, consistency in the net. Here come the Hillers. Last uh, second effort there by Abbott, and that's going to do it. 
before the second period. The Hillers, they get a goal. Owen Delaney on a beauty of a wrister with an assist by Will Abbott. It was 6.32 left in the second period, and the Hillers are up one to nothing as we head to the final 15 minutes. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, Ray Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be Camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the third period. It's a 1-0 lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on Age Camp. Tom Nappy, Eric Carty on the call, Mike Tarosian on camera. And it's been Hillers domination so far today. But of course, it's only a 1-0 game, so there's still plenty of time left. But the Hillers, they uh, dominate in those first two periods shooting-wise, Eric. Yeah, I think the key here in the third, Tom, is for the Hillers not to uh, sit back on the heels and play defense. They just got to keep that offensive thrust going. And they're bringing the pressure again, working in Westwood territory. A near shot there. Opportunity stolen away by a defender. Back to the neutral zone. Here come the Wolverines. Top of the circle. Rister there off the pad of O'Leary. That was Donahue on the shot up the near side. Simos. Gets around a defender and will risk that one right into Anderson. That's one of those plays there. You just want to be sure if you're going to go for that puck, you got to either have your forward back and the up, or you got to make sure you're going to get it. Otherwise, you're going to give up that odd man rush. You don't want to give Westwood any momentum right off the start of the period here. Right. It's been a uh, relatively clean game. There was a. A uh, penalty in the second period against Hopkinton, but the Hillers were able to successfully burn out the Westwood power play. There's a slap by Lindquist. That one's out of play. 14 minutes to go in this third period. Hillers have dominated on the faceoff so far today. Around the net, it's Lewis. It's picked up along the near side by Hamlet. Back to the neutral zone of Lindquist. He'll track it down back ice. Picks it up around the net. Over to the neutral zone, picked up by Hetnick. Along the near side, Lindquist. Lindquist and Hetnick. It's turned away over to the slot, looking for the shot here. That one denied. There's Mark Horsfall trying to find someone in the circle. Here come the Hillers. Rister from the right circle by Sloan is just wide to the right. Hard hit there by Hamlet as he met up with Colin Fahey. Wolverines changing their line. Density picking up a little bit. It certainly is. I think Westwood's getting a little more physical too in this period. On the near side board, it's Andrew Gilbert and Thomas Olson for Westwood. And now Mark Horsfall picks it up along the far side. Wolverines trying to break into Hiller's territory, but they're denied as Owen Delaney turns it away. Some changes for both teams coming into the game. Sean Walsh back pass to Saperoshitz. Back to the neutral zone, there's Kyle Rogers. And now up on the right side circle is Zach. Out in front, Wolverine's able to deny that opportunity. Matt Mackin puts it down into Hiller's territory and we'll get the icing call there. Again, you see the Hillers, they're making the smart play. They're looking for that open man, not trying to force the puck where there's a defender coming up to take it and then they keep doing that. They're just gonna get the pucks in deep and go after him. Another face off in Westwood territory. This time it'll be Owen Delaney for the Hillers. Wolverines had one player too many out there. Jake Shields took a seat. On the left circle. 
And Kyle Rogers was looking for the shot there, but was denied by a defender. A nice Donahue. And the net he goes, picked up by Saporoshit. From the far side is Blomquist, wide to the right. Wolverine's working in Hiller's territory, but Hopkinton takes control of that situation quickly as Will Abbott coming up the far side. Into the right circle, around the net he goes, out in front. And that was just wide to the left by Simos. He was trying to sneak it in, that little opening on the high left corner. I'll tell you what's really uh, made the difference for the Hillers is that outside speed. They've just been able to go around the defenseman and send that puck to the other forward who's driving towards the net. West was doing everything right by trying to force those guys out wide, but the, the hill of speed has just been too much for him. Yeah, Hiller's speed is remarkable. It's going to be a fun season, I think, for the, for the Hillers, based on what they're showing us out there today. Just dominating speed-wise on Westwood, and they've really dominated this game. Of course, it's only a one-nothing game, so anything's possible. But this Hiller's speed is very impressive, and they can really take over a game quickly. Ronnie Sheamus and Hetnick in the far side corner. There's Hamlet over to the near side. Coming up is Temple, top of the circle, leaves it out in the slot, and that was just wide to the right. He's looking for Hamlet there. Wolverines turned it away, is coming up the near side now, Fahey. Here's Hamlet on the far side, that's Terry, puts it across over to Temple. Picked up behind the net by Shields for Westwood. Down to Fahey. Into the neutral zone, Fahey. Backhander into the Hillers defensive zone. That'll draw the whistle. Again, the Hillers staying tough at the blue line with that four check. They're just breaking Westwood up. Every time they try to come out of their zone, there's two forwards there on the puck, making it real difficult for Westwood to get anything going up in the neutral zone and then down transition. Yeah, Wolverines just can't really get anything going in the Hiller zone. Top of the circle, Inquist, Rister. And just a little wide to the right, turned away by Blumquist. Behind the net now. That is Sheamus. And now Delaney along the boards in the corner, trying to dig that one out. Around the net he goes, it's Rogers. And there is Walsh. Walsh trying to find someone in front, no one there. Back to the neutral zone, Cam Jarrett. In the Hiller's zone, Lindquist. Coming up the near side. Into Westwood territory. Smart play there, just dump it in, let your forwards go get it. Walsh on the chase down. Walsh takes a hit from Horsefall as Lewis digs it out for Westwood. Around the end board. Delaney able to pick it up and Anderson wraps it up for another save. At yeah, this stage of the game, Tom, the Hill is just going to play their uh, chip chase and check game. Just dump that puck in, send their two forwards in to get a body on the man trying to break it out, and then just check them and pick that puck up. Top of the circle. That was Delaney looking for the shot there. Left out in front in the high slot, and there's a shot that was very close by Simos. Top of the circle, turned away by Anderson. That puck just sitting out in front. And I don't even think Anderson realized it was <laughs> right it was there little, in front of him. I think it was a little too far for him to reach out. Right. He's trying to hold his position. He's been solid all, all game long. He certainly has. And he doesn't really come far out either. He doesn't take a lot of risks, and it's paid off for him. Hillers with six shots on net in this period so far. Of course, that is unofficial. We'll get the official uh, count after the game. And it's chopped up in the air as Saporoshitz pulls it down. Top of the circle, leaves it out in the high slot. Will Abbott looking for the shot. 
That's back now to Saperoshitz. And he will wrist it, and Delaney with the backhander, and it's wrapped up by Anderson. Hill has seemed to have a little more operating space uh, in the zone there. They've been able to move around, keep the puck up high, get it down, down low, and then look for that guy out in the open. 8.32 left in this third period, and another period which, once again, the Hillers just dominating possession-wise. Temple on the near side, leaves it behind for Gilbert. And back to Temple, Gilbert along the blue line. Over to Sheamus, and wrists that one, and Anderson able to glove it up. This is the stage of the game, too, where those defensemen want to be real careful throwing that puck in. If you hit a shin pad, it's going to go the other way. If you're any doubt, you're throwing that thing off the boards and just getting it in deep, not giving Westwood any opportunity. They only need that one to get it tied up. Right. And I think that's the goal, just keep it in Westwood territory. Do what you've been doing all game long. And the Hillers switching up talent once again on the ice a little bit. On the face off this time, it's DJ Sloan. Back to the neutral zone. Opportunity here for Westwood. Hetnick on the chase down, takes the shot. And that's wide to the right. And the follow through, and that's denied by O'Leary. There's another shot. That one is just high from the circle by Horsfall. Three shots right there for Westwood. Hiller's trying to get it out of their zone quickly. Taking it up ice now is Sloan. Up the far side he goes. Leaves it behind into the circle for Walsh. And a couple Wolverines there to turn it away. That was a dangerous situation there for the Hillers. Yeah, good speed there, and then it's nice to have that solid goaltender back there when they finally do give up a, a break there. O'Leary's there to bail them out. And a face off in the Westwood zone, and I think after that, Coach McPherson said, time to change things up. Do it again. Griffin Zach in the circle for the Hillers. And from the Wolverines, Olsen on that pass, and here he comes down the ice now. It's the offsides there. Near side, Guarino. Guarino and Zach with some contact. Jarrett up to Zach. Turned away by Leone for Westwood. Lindquist to the near side of Jarrett. Hard hit to the boards there. Guarino coming down the ice for Westwood. Puts it along the end boards in the Hillers defensive zone. Tied up in the corner is Lindquist. And there's a shot there turned away by O'Leary. Good push in front of the net by Zach. Here come the Hillers. Quick break by Walsh. Gets by one Wolverine looking for the shot there. And he is unable to get what he wanted on that one. Still an opportunity for Walsh as he comes around the net. That was a wide open break, just could not get the stick on it to get the shot off. And then the shot from the slot turned away, that was Simos. 6.19 in ticking left in this third period. Hiller is adding a couple more shots to already a large total of shots on net for Hopkinton. They're now well above 40 shots in this game. Getting tied up along the near side, Connor Delaney along with Donahue. Up the near side, it's Delaney. Around the end boards, out in front, turned away. And it was Griffin Zach on the shot there, and now with possession is Abbott. Up the near side, out in front, no one there for the Hillers. Westwood defenders crowding the front of the net. They don't want to allow Hillers any shots here. Five and a half left, turned away by Donahue. To the neutral zone it goes. Here's Hall for Westwood. Puts it around the net, picked up by Delaney. 
And Delaney sends it flying back into Westwood territory. That'll draw the whistle. Shot so actually ended up on net there. I think the referee anticipated it going wide, but it ended up on goal. Right. <laughs> so that counts. Hopefully they the put shot. that. Uh, hopefully they're gonna have to face off at center ice here because that really shouldn't have been an icing. Right. I think yep. that's what they're discussing now. Tough break for the Hillers there. Yep, they're actually gonna put it in Westwood's end. And he's gonna explain uh, to Coach Welby. That's one way to do it, right? Yep. I think the, the one thing Hill is going to be on guard here, Tom, is just to watch Westwood trying to leave one of their forwards, that off forward a little bit high, looking to try to give them that breakaway, send them on that home run pass. And they're just going to make sure they got that defenseman looking behind them, make sure they don't give a free uh, skate up the ice here for Westwood. Well, you know, uh, closing in on these last few minutes, Westwood is going to continue to get more aggressive here. Tracked down by Sloan. Across to the far side of Hamlet, he takes a Lost hard an edge. Wolverines ran some hard hits in this period. Tied up along the boards. I'll draw a whistle. That was Hamlet along with a couple of Wolverines, including Matt Mackin. What do we have here? Ready to face off. Wolverines trying to get something going. Hillers dominating in these last few minutes. Not even letting Westwood out of their own zone. That one put out of play on the wrister of a pass by Colin Fahey. Yeah, it's just been key for them. This, those forwards are really putting pressure on the defenseman. As soon as Westwood gets it and turns, they've got two Hillers right in their face and they're forced to try to dump it up and then just not getting clean passes out. That's the speed factor we've been talking about. That one turned away by a defender. That was Abbott on the turnaround. Shot opportunity there. Simos in the near side corner. Picked up top of the circle by Hall. Put up the near side by Lindquist. Wolverines now have possession. Blumquist. Up the boards to Reisfelder. Top of the circle looking for the shot there was Hall. Nice defensive work by Cam Jarrett. Wrister there, turned away by O'Leary. Puck still alive behind the net. That was Donahue on the shot for Westwood. Up the near side it goes, controlled by Simos on a quick break into the left circle, looking for the shot of the Wrister. That's off the pad of Anderson. Looking high again, top corner. Simos, top of the right circle, trying to leave it in the slot, turned away by Westwood. Here's Delaney. As he meets up with Guarino. And that is going to be wrapped up by Anderson on a last ditch effort by Connor Delaney. I tell you, I don't ever remember so many two on ones for the Hellos in the past couple of years that they've had tonight. Three minutes, 30 seconds left to go in this third period. Time running out for Westwood. That's picked up by Saparoshitz. Turned away by Anderson. Off the stick of Sloan. Now behind the net. And that is Temple tied up with a Wolverine. Out towards the slot now. Opportunity for Westwood. Here comes Hatnick. Up the far side. Top of the circle out in front. Turned away by O'Leary. And a nice job by Temple getting a stick on it to put it back towards mid-ice. Here come the Hillers once again. Sloan, top of the circle. Takes it towards the end boards. And back to the neutral zone we go. A good shift for DJ Sloan there. Great back check, and then he was able to turn it and bring it up and get some offense going. Backhander by Walsh. Laney trying to track it down. He's denied. Jake Shields got in front of him to box him out. Here come the Wolverines, Reisfelder up the far side. That's off the pad of O'Leary. Around the net, that is Donahue. Looking for the shot here, and he's turned away by Simos. Lindquist puts it up and around. 
Here comes Simos up the far side boards. One on one up ice, looking for the shot here. Gets around the defender, it's denied on the first attempt and then the second attempt wide to the right. Simos with a couple of those looks tonight. Hillers want to keep the puck down low now. Over to the high slot and that wrister is gloved by Anderson. About a minute and a half here. I think the Wolverines are going to try to get that puck over the red line and deep and then pull the goalie. So the Hillers want to just try to keep the puck down here so they don't give them that opportunity. Yeah, 148 left in this third period. And I don't know if Westwood might not want to pull their goalie just yet <laughs> based on how long the Hillers have had it in their zone. <laughs> yeah, they might not get the chance. Right. We get a whistle here. Timeout. Time out. First timeout of the game by either team. We'll keep things right here with 148 left. Eric, it's been a great effort by the Hillers, and they've certainly dominated this game. Of course, it's not over. It's only one nothing. But sure. shooting wise, speed wise, possession wise, it's been all yeah. Hillers today. Yeah, and even and you've seen these last couple breaks. Even Westwood's uh, breaks coming down. The Hillers have had two and three guys back, so there's been no odd man rushes. Everyone's been picked up, so they're playing real solid defense too. All three phases of the game has just been really good for the Hillers today. It certainly has, and you're not doing this against a slouch team either. I mean, Westwood, yep. as you mentioned, what was it, 35 straight playoff appearances. They're a great team. Yep, yep, they're solid year in and year out, and they always give the Hillers a tough time. They certainly do, and I'd expect these two teams, when all is said and done, to be towards the top of the yep. TVL. Yep. Tri-Valley League, I mean, they're pretty much solid all around. There's some really good medways and medfields of the years have been really tough. Oh, yeah. It is a really good uh, hockey league in the MIAA, that's for sure. And of course, Hopkinton's new home this season will be the New England Sports Center here in Marlboro, located right near the uh, Sullivan Pond Mall in Marlboro. So after this game, you can go get your Christmas shopping done. <laughs> Might have to shovel out for us. <laughs> right, that's true. I, th I think we got a blizzard going on outside. Or something along those lines. We're getting, what, eight, nine inches of snow, they're saying now. That's what they're saying. Well, At least we got the hockey game in. That's right. Hockey's more important. <laughs> Owen Delaney on the faceoff for the Hillers up against Connor Donahue for Westwood. And they get tied up. And coming out with it is Hetnick. Wolverines on maybe their last opportunity here. There goes the goaltender. He is pulled. Westwood going to be ultra aggressive now. The shot out in front, and that's denied by O'Leary. The pressure is on. Ricefelder picks it up behind the net. Top of the circle, and that one nearly slips through, but it's turned away by O'Leary. A couple of shots there. There's another one. And a nice job defensively in front of the net was Lindquist. Good play. Very good play by Lindquist. Positioned himself perfectly in front of the net. Leaves it out for Abbott, and we'll have a whistle in the... Westwood zone. They'll put just enough on it to get it out of the zone and not cause an icing there because that's key, giving them the Westwood. They have to put the goalie back in for the faceoff now. That might oh. have been a saving play there by I think that uh, was Lindquist. a great, great play. And, and Dylan O'Leary with a great red, uh, right pad save there. Yep. Well, this period has been a little bit closer shooting wise. I think it's going to take time out now. So Hillers will take a timeout now. 112 left to go. And after all this, after dominating the whole way through, this is a game that comes down to at a minute. this point you got to walk away with. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what the coaches are doing right now. They're going to tell their players, no chances here. You're getting that puck in deep. If you don't, you're covering the man coming back. I'm not giving them any chances at all. No odd man breaks. Right. Keep, keep the puck in Westwood territory. That's really all you got to do at this point. And they've done it throughout most of this game. Hopkinton last season, 17-2 and one overall. They lost in the quarterfinals of the postseason, 43 and double overtime to Old Rochester. What and a game that was to that watch was, end to end. That had to be you know? the best game that I've ever seen. I, I that was it, an amazing I, game. I think it came down to four on four at the end there, and both teams just had back and forth chances. Right. That, that game was yeah. so much fun. I didn't have a voice after that yep. one. <laughs> And then Westwood, they also had a great year last year, 15-4-1 overall. They lost in the semifinals, 5-1 to one to Situate. Situate, they're always a great program down at the Cape. So we're probably going to see Delaney try to go forward with a puck here, not bother trying to pull it back to give any chances of a breakout. And he called that one. Simos is able to get it around the net. There's Delaney leaving it out in front, turned away. Here comes Westwood on a quick break up the far side. 
It's Rice Felder up the boards. We've got one minute left. Rice Felder with possession, puts it around uh, Hetnick. Out towards the other end now. Looking towards the point to Horsfall. To the left of the circle. And out in front, turned away by O'Leary. And Westwood just scored. It's tied up. It was a battle in front, and he's able to poke it through. And that is a heartbreaker if you're the Hillers. I believe that was Connor Donahue who poked it through. Yeah, a lot of traffic in front. Tough to see there whether he's able to push that under Dylan or push him in the net with the puck. Yep, there was all sorts of traffic in front. I think that's what O'Leary's telling the ref right now. He had to cover it up, and momentum pushed him forward into the net. And these officials might talk this over. I thought O'Leary had to cover it up, but we really kind of had no view yeah, of tough what to see. was going on. I didn't know if that puck was loose, but it looked like O'Leary's glove was down and it was covered up, but I'm not sure. And it looks like they're going to give him the goal. 38.6 seconds left. It's one to one. Heartbreaker for the Hillers if this goal stands. We got a review booth available. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be doing that, unfortunately. <laughs> and I believe that was Donahue who poked that through. We'll get the confirmation on that. There was a lot of going on in front of the net. Here come the Hillers. <laughs> and it was Jake Shields on the goal. So Jake Shields, the hero for Westwood. 20 seconds left now in regulation. Should have been an icing. Owen oh, Delaney able to knock that one up to Simos on the right circle, looking for the shot out in front, and it's turned away. And I think Anderson got a little shooken up there. Yep. The helmet came off, he fell so, to the Simos ice. Simos collide with him on the, on the move. He might have got some ice in the eyes or something as well. Looked like he was grabbing at his eye area. Well, the good news is face-off in Westwood zone, and Hopkins has got strong face-off, so we might be able to do something here in the last couple, few seconds. 7.3 left, and that's a heartbreaker. You'll walk away with this win yeah. after dominating the whole way through. And I look for him to see about getting the puck to Abbott for a quick shot here. But that's what happens when you play a team like Westwood. You just can't take your foot off the gas yeah. at all. They can pop in a goal at any yeah. time. And... Wolverine's goaltender getting an, uh, an applause for shaking that one off. Well, this is it. Face off in the Westwood zone. Need a couple of quick shots here. And when Delaney leaves it behind. Final seconds left out in front, and that's it. It's going to stand at one to one. Well, that's tough for the way the Hill has played the whole game to have it end like that. They definitely deserve to win after that. So Westwood, they just need 38.6 seconds to grab at least the point. And uh, it's going to end in a one-to-one -one tie. Great effort by both teams. The Hillers, they certainly won the possession battle, but the game will end in a tie. But watching this game and how they performed against a good Westwood team, Eric, I think it's a sign of many good things to come for yep, the Hillers. It looks like they're going to have a very promising season. I think they will as well. Well, for Mike Tarosian on camera, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, Hopkinton and Westwood. They start off the season in a 1-1 tie. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAN. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon.